Now, we are going to look at the major characters of the story. The first one is Norma. Please remember that Norma is a heroine of the story. Rather, she is the only most important character of the story. She is not like the traditional heroine which we see in our movies and dramas. She is shown as a hard working woman but she behaves like a very traditional housewife. She has a very repetitive life. She is shown doing the household work all day, looking, going to the office and looking after her office work as well. The mysterious box, it represents Norma's curiosities and temptations. Like any person, she is also tempted by anything unusual which appears in her way. She is shown as a woman who wants to have a comfortable life. She wants to do away with the hardships which are coming in her life every day at every step. In the beginning, her curiosity of that mysterious box, they are innocent. But later, that curiosity changes into something evil, something one of the seven sins. Greed overpowers her and she presses the button in the end. She did not remain true to her husband and she had to suffer. Her husband had stopped her from pressing that button but she ignored his instructions and she had a great loss that is she lost her husband. She never thought that death would knock her own door and she is a representation of her own desires. As Socrates says, he who is not contented with what he has would not be contented with what he would like to have. In contrast, her husband Arthur is shown as not a greedy person. Now, talking about Arthur, who is the next major character of the story, he is again a middle class man living in New York with, her, with his wife. He is leading a normal life with his wife Norma, coming and going to the office, staying in home, having some aspirations for the future or a more comfortable life. But he is shown as a more strong person as compared to his wife Norma. Arthur is understanding, intelligent, modest and a hospitable man. For him, wrong is wrong and right is right. For him, there are no grey areas. Black is black for him, white is white for him. There are no ambiguities in his thoughts or in his mind or in his life. When he is given the choice to press the button at the cost of someone else's life and getting the money, he refuses point blank. He cannot even think that he should do any such thing. Arthur, he is taking the offer as a practical joke. He is not impressed by the offer as he is not greedy. Unfortunately, he is the one who suffers because of his wife's greed. When Norma presses the button, Arthur 
not being the greedy one, loses his life and his insurance money comes to his wife as $50,000. The third character is Mr. Stewart. Mr. Stewart is the strangest character in all the three. He appears from nowhere with an offer. Mr. Stewart can be portrayed as the personification of greed and evil desires that come and cross the way of us moral human beings all the time. Mr. Stu Mr. Stewart is the only villain in this story. He is shown as an agent of an international organization. He sends them a package with a written message and then visits them. He gives Norma a mysterious box and explains that if she presses the button, then she will receive $50,000. But the consequence is that a random person that she that she does not know will die. She is the person, she, he is the person who gives this offer. And Norma is the one who is accepting that offer. He thought that Norma was an easy prey for him because she wanted to have $50,000. He seems to be an expert in the psychology of the women that they are tempted very easily to offers like that.